Hey. From the road on a very, very curvy road. We are off. <laughs> this is it. Oh, this is it. We are on our way to Colorado Springs for two full days and the nights that surround them. And lots of activity. We've got some fun stuff planned. I'm really excited about this. So um, this was originally supposed to be um, like a little birthday celebration, but the timing didn't quite work out. So it's not quite a birthday, but we're going to pretend it is and celebrate anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, enjoy the ride and uh, the weird stuff that we have to show you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you real soon. Hey, hey friends, thanks for joining. Here we are back to detail for you our trip to Colorado Springs. And it was our first non-Disney trip in a year and a quarter, I think. Not yeah. counting visiting here to move here. So oh, basically yeah. last year all of our mm -hmm. vacations were house shopping and yeah, right. determining if we want to live in this yeah, place yeah. Um, and moving here uh, mm -hmm. so we didn't get to take really a vacation last year um, and then of course we had our coast to coast races in January it took up a lot of time it took a lot of time <laughs> and money and energy <laughs> uh, but here we are we got to take a little trip um, because we're in a region now which um, we can drive to a lot of new places. Yeah. You know, we were in Central Texas before, and to get out of Texas, it was at least six hours, like, in any direction. More like eight. Going that way, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but now it's like, we're in a new place. Yeah. We've got lots of new stuff to explore. So yeah. we took a three and a half hour drive to Colorado Springs. It was awesome. Uh, we had a great time. Yeah. Never been there, so yeah. we get to put a pin in our uh, we do embroidery or our, uh, our little. Uh, it's an embroidery hoop. Yeah, yeah. It's loosely embroidery. <laughs> but. Let's go. Yeah. Brand new place. Yeah. Never been. Hey, before uh, we show you all uh, the stuff, uh, I mean, you've already seen some of it. Uh, if you haven't, please like, uh, subscribe, hit the notifications button. Uh, we plan on going on, uh, you know, some more uh, excursions. Uh, share with you. Uh, so we had a great time. We went to Colorado Springs, uh, north of us, uh, and obviously Colorado. Right. Uh, it was great. Yeah. It was neat. So day one, we drove. We we left here in the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, early afternoon, mm -hmm. rolled into town around four o'clock. I think it was right when uh, check-in oh, yeah. time was at the hotel. Mm -hmm. So um, we stayed at a little place downtown, checked in, and then we went to get some food and drink. Okay, yep. That's how we roll. That's what we do. So um, we uh, went to a brewery. The beer was really good. Mm -hmm. The food was a little weird. They had a really good cider we had. It was very good. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or, or Oh, not. no. It was the beets. It looked like a cider. Oh, yeah. Did we actually have a cider there? Who knows? That was, was a week ago. Beets, I don't remember. Bears, Battlestar beers, Galactica. Beets, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, let us know in comments if you know what that's from. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we had to order that one because yeah, we, we do we love the thing that it's from. Yeah. And, we ordered uh, a, and we ordered a pretzel. I mean, you go to a brewery, pretzel. you're going to oh, order this a pretzel. Is perfect. We're yeah. hungry. Uh, We've been on the road. A big pretzel. Man, we were psyched. They like deep fried it, mm. which was weird. It was weird. It was and weird. as it cooled down, it got weirder. Yeah. It kind of turned into um, uh, like uh, cement. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, 
we ordered a salad after that. It was much better, mm -hmm. but the pretzel was weird. It was a real kind of downer, but yeah. you know, I don't know. We, we've been to maybe two other places that I can remember. I can't remember where that, that kind of, you know, took a really doughy, beautiful, big pretzel. One. And then they like, um, I guess they... Maybe it's like too dry. I don't that's know what a, they That's did. like easier than dunking in a butter or yeah. something. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. It, it was kind of weird. As a side note, the next morning we went to the breakfast buffet at our hotel. It was a little Hyatt. That's uh -huh. fine. We each got a biscuit and the biscuit was deep fried. So I don't know if this is a Colorado Springs phenomenon, uh -huh. but that was too out of like three places hey, we hey, had been to at that point, that deep fried a piece of bread. Yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love fried, fried things. Bread. I mean, if you fry a tennis shoe right, it, it's delicious. But, but if you just throw a, <laughs> throw a biscuit uh, in the deep fryer, kind of it may not If you know, if it's, a, if it's a thing, let us know. It, yeah. I mean, you take Maybe a we'll beautiful, we'll you know, biscuit it. that, you know, it rises <laughs> and it's beautiful. And then it's like, oh, it's done. And then you deep fry it. It was weird. Uh, it, was, it was a little odd. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, so that's an aside yeah. on the weird, unexpectedly uh, fried food we had on this trip. Mm -hmm. um, we had planned that night to go to a tiki bar. Right. Um, in Colorado Springs. Every time we go somewhere, I search for breweries, pizza places, and tiki bars. Right. And um, we ended up not getting pizza on this trip. Uh, the, uh, well, whatever. Hmm. I know. I, I think we were going to get some that night, but the uh, the fried pretzel kind of threw us for a maybe, loop. maybe. Um, so we walked downtown. Not a tiki bar though. Tiki bar. Right. Really Here it is. Too. It's like tucked in between mm -hmm. two breweries. You had to go in, go down some stairs, go down a hall. Some amazing like fifties uh, artwork on the wall. It was like really really cool. Close for Easter. Close for Easter. So, I mean, we, this, uh, <laughs> admittedly, this was on Easter Sunday. It was but. Easter, and some people even said, like, do you think they'll be open? It's Easter. Well, joke's on us. They were not open. Everybody uh, celebrates Easter their own way. The bar, the, <laughs> the the boutique cocktail bar down the hall was open, though, and yeah. we got some fantastic cocktails at this place. It was called Bloom. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. They had a little, I thought this was really neat. Yeah, this was cool. They had an Easter egg hunt for yeah. us. They actually had little plastic Easter eggs <laughs> hidden all over the bar. Yeah. Most of them had candy. Yeah. Some of them, they said, had free shots and... Again, this was a boutique cocktail bar, so they would have been really tasty oh, shots. Yeah, yeah. So I was actually looking for the shots, but we just got uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, that was okay. It was nice. It yeah, was so we, we found a few eggs. It was neat. I had a few Great cocktails. Great service, awesome bartenders. It was uh, wonderful. Really cool environment. I had a DJ playing some uh, really cool music. It was, I mean, it was a great was, little bar. Uh, Highly yeah, recommended really, if really anybody's nice. in Colorado. Bloom. Springs. Bloom. Yeah. So that was night one. Mm -hmm. uh, we went back to the hotel, crashed. Yep. And then day two. Hey, hey, uh, we are visiting the Garden of the Gods. It's over there behind us. We'll show you some uh, more stuff later.
Day two. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. We head for Day two. Garden of the Gods. Garden of the Gods. Amazing place. And Amazing. that was the first thing when we said to some people around here, oh, we're going to Colorado Springs. We were just trying to find some place, you know, that was just a couple hours away. Yeah. We've never been. Breweries, pizza places, you know, tiki get away, bar, you know, whatever. whatever. Yeah. And the first thing everybody said was, oh, you can go to Garden of the Gods. That's great. So we looked up what Garden of the Gods was because it wasn't on our radar. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it's this, um, you Garden. know, natural rock formation. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, some richy rich in like around the turn of the century, 19, yeah. uh, 1900s, 20th yeah. century, um, bought this huge chunk of land. It had this uh, formation on it. And when he died, or I don't know, at some point, at some point in his life, he said he's going to give this land, maybe that's what it was, he's going to give it when he dies to the city of Colorado Springs. With the condition that it's always available to the public for free. For free. So it was a free park. Mm -hmm. They had really nice paved walking trails. I thought we were going to go on a hike this day, but everything was paved. Mm -hmm. It was, you know. For the most part, yeah. It was really nice and, and amazing. And, and it really did kind of have this uh, Jurassic Park kind of feel Very to majestic. it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you go into the kind of the visitor center. and Oh, maybe it had like a Jurassic Park feel because we took that dinosaur picture. Oh, yeah. Insert picture <laughs> yeah, here. Right. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It was it was really cool though. It was a very cold and overcast day, mm, but crazy. you know, no big deal. Um, really, really awesome because it is free. So yeah. we walked along uh, beautiful rock formations. You know, going back and looking at the footage and the photos, you don't you don't get the Unmasked. yeah. It, yeah. They're they're pretty majestic, uh, amazing the way they formed. Um, so, uh, I mean, that was really cool. We'll go back. Cool. I mean, yeah, totally. You know, um, I did get to chastise some strangers. Yes. For not following the rules. That's why we can't have nice things. You know, everywhere you walk around, these amazing formations of rock, uh, um, there are signs that say no, no climbing, no, climbing, no, no scrambling. scrambling. Uh, you know, don't do it. And some of the places are, are marked off. There are some places yeah. that if you are a, a rock climber, you register online, you get a pass, and you can walk in as long as you have the appropriate Equipment. gear and all that kind of stuff. And you can actually rock climb certain areas of uh, these formations, which I think is amazing, mm -hmm. right? These guys did not. No. <laughs> it was not one of those no, areas. No, it was, so do this, not do this. Yeah, they were doing it. Whatever, so. Yeah, why we can't have nice as, things. As I say, I turned into my mom for a second. Oh, yeah. and uh, You gave them yeah. what for? <laughs> <laughs> but that was great that was a morning and you know what's really amazing about this is you're standing amidst these rock formations and it's it's very kind of prehistoric looking you know you're looking around but you're in the city <laughs> i mean you know it's like yeah. you walk back to the parking lot and you get on a highway and you know yeah. a, a minute away you're like we could actually see it from our hotel uh hmm. not from our room but from the hallway the oh. window in the hallway oh yeah we should have taken a picture we didn't oh, but yeah. we could see it yeah. in the distance and off in the distance Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak, which I didn't realize was there until we saw, you know, a yeah. sign that, yeah. hey, that thing over there is Pikes Peak. Yeah. So we walked about three miles mm -hmm. around Garden of the Gods. Mm -hmm. It was a great way to start off the day. Yeah. We really worked up hunger and thirst. Yes, we did. So for the rest of the day, we were eating and drinking our way around Colorado Springs. <laughs> it was nice. um, we ended up in, uh, it's like the west side of town. It's called Old Colorado City. Uh -huh. um, and we went to a fantastic brewery over there. I had yeah. some fantastic food. Oh, yeah. Um, the beer was great. Yeah. Uh, then we came over and walked down to Pikes Peak Brewing. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a little place over there where we had some crazy macaroni and cheese and like cauliflower oh, yeah. wings. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to look up the name of it. Yeah, but it was, it was so, so good. It was good stuff. Um, and then we made it to the Tiki Bar. Yes! They were open on the it day after open. Easter. And it was? It was wonderful. Oh, man. So we go. walk in. It's total tiki bar. You're, like, swept away to a different yeah. place. There's total immersion. There's a waterfall over here. There's neon mm -hmm. oh, everywhere. Yeah. There's a whole row of um, light bright tables <laughs> with swinging chairs on yeah. either side. So yeah. we, we so sat we at swinging chairs <laughs> and yeah. made light bright yeah. uh, pictures. Yeah. And, and then, had some really, really wonderful cocktails. Yeah. And brought home a, a brought tiki home mug. A peacock tiki mug. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah. It, it really was. I mean, awesome, mm -hmm. worth it uh, tiki bar. That was awesome. So yeah. that was a great first full day. Mm -hmm. Day two, wonderful. Right. Okay. Day three. Hey, hey, we're in Manitou Springs on our way to uh, try to get up to uh, Pikes Peak. But we'll share, we'll, we'll share that with you later. Now the train you are riding on today was built in Switzerland by a company called Stadler. It is powered by two diesel-electric Cummins engines, 510 horsepower each, and they are located at the back of the train. Now for your comfort today, if it starts to be a little bit stuffy in here, you are welcome to roll down a window, simply stand up within your seating area, grab hold of those two tabs, pull them down, don't give yourself a hernia in the process, and you will get some nice cool air. But the higher we go, the colder it will get, so please be courteous to your neighbors. Do not wait for them to turn blue with icicles hanging from their noses before you roll them back up again. because we had a lot of tiki drinks the night before. Right, but that's okay. That's okay. We knew what we were doing. Right. We were in for this. Right. Uh, so this is the day that we got up and went to the other big natural thing to see in the area, which is Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak. So we went to um, a little town. It's 10 minutes away. It yeah. may as well be a suburb if they yeah. have suburbs. Yeah. I don't know. It's It was not far, yeah. called Manitou Springs. Uh, and the first thing we did, well, the first thing we did was stop in at the visitor center. Chamber get, of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce, yeah. get some maps. <laughs> and um, should I jump ahead to that? I'll come back to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> to get some maps, figure out where to park, you know, all that yeah. stuff. So we parked our car. Yeah. We walked about a mile, which turned out to be uphill. Yeah. Uh, to the Manitou Springs Cog Railway. Yep. Yeah. Which, when the weather is nice, is a railway, a train, cog train, yeah. that will take you all the way all the up way. Pikes Peak. To Pikes Peak. All the way. It takes you an hour. So that was the thing that I mentioned last week that I found and I was yeah. so excited yeah. about. Yeah. The weather wasn't good enough for them to take us all the way to the top. So, <laughs> so they've been getting a lot of high winds and some, some snow. They got a but the yeah. winds uh, were causing uh, way too much snow drift across the uh, train tracks. Yeah. So we were only able to go halfway up uh, the tracks. Never made it to the 14,000 feet of elevation to the top of Pikes Peak. Yeah. Uh, really disappointed, but it was an awesome experience. We got all the way up to a little over 10,000 feet mm -hmm. in this train. Uh, and it's a cog train, so you know a, a normal train cannot go up that steep grade. You're just going to start sliding back, right? So in the middle of the tracks is a, is a cog, and and that's what helps this mm -hmm. uh, electric diesel train go up the yeah. uh, rail. It was it was really really cool. It was very cool. The views were like wow. And we were only like halfway up. That's I the know. part that astounds me. Um, and the the thing was too that 
I, I didn't know when they told us, because they did actually notify us the day before, gave us the opportunity to reschedule. We actually were originally scheduled for day one. Right. We got that same notification. I said, okay, well, let's try day two. Yeah. Um, day two, we got the same thing. So yeah. we just went for the half train mm -hmm. ride. Um, I didn't know if when we got to that halfway point, we would, so originally the plan is you take like an hour long train ride up, right. you spend about 40 minutes at, at the summit. There's a, you know, Viewing I don't know, area. a deck or something. I don't yeah. know. It's a station. Oh, so you can yeah. get out, yeah. stretch your legs, look at stuff. So about 40 minutes and then an hour ride back down. So I didn't know if halfway up, we would stop at a station, be able to get out, right. take some pictures. We didn't. <laughs> we were stuck. Yeah. About yay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on a train. Um, so it was difficult to move around. We could move around the train, yeah. but it was hard mm -hmm. to do so because we were on such a steep incline. Yeah. Uh, but we got some good pictures. It, mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing being that high up. It was and great. Then, you it know, great. the train rocked us to sleep on the way back down. Yeah. It was like, yeah, you know, right. we were sleeping. Yeah. Um, it was so neat. In their defense, too, they also refunded us half of our money. Yeah. Because <laughs> they weren't cheap tickets to yeah. go to the top. And they, because we didn't go to the top, they gave us a, a partial yeah. refund. So and the conductor was great. Actually, the conductor uh, had uh, two uh, apprentice conductors. And, uh, you know, they were just uh, mm -hmm. giving us history and giving mm -hmm. us, uh, you know, jokes and all that kind of stuff. It was really neat. If you're ever there, you have got to do it. It was pretty neat. It, it really it was. was. I mean, we saw a, an, an ancient gla uh, glacier. Uh, we looked down on it uh, amidst the uh, the mountain range. Uh, I mean, it really was just quite a sight, you know. So we're looking forward to going back and making it all the way to the top. Hopefully. So that was the first part of our Manitou Springs adventure. Here's the deal, though, too. They also told us the history of Pike's Peak. It's named after a guy named Pike who, uh, you know, wanted to climb it, and he never made it to the top. Pike never made it to the top of Pike's So Peak. they decided to name it after him, and I don't know if they're Is naming it after him. Yeah, it, was it to honor him, or are they making fun of him? Because you know, he never <laughs> made it to the top. Anyway, it, it was great, yeah. uh, but then we did something else. Okay, so. <laughs> it's too cool. <laughs> it's cool, crazy. Dangerous. Weird. <laughs> Possibly. Dangerous. Possibly. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. So the other thing we did when we were at the visitor center right. was grab, can you hold my water please? You got it. Okay. We grabbed a little cup. Uh, a little collapsible cup, right? A little leg goes on. Uh, because Manitou Springs is so named because they have several natural springs throughout town. Um, and they're all like different design of fountains. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a constant running, you know, mm. spigot. Or spurting. Some were spurting. Natural <laughs> were... mineral water mineral springs. springs. They have eight throughout town. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was down for renovation um, at the moment. Mm. Uh, it was our plan to try them all. Because try as in you can drink this natural mineral water. Despite all the warning signs posted on all <laughs> know, of them. That's a deal, you man. can drink it. I know. So at the visitor center, I was like, can you drink it? She's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. That, wasn't, uh, okay. that wasn't terribly confident, but okay. So what we did, the first uh, that we happened to walk by was right by the Cog Railway. So yeah. since that was a big, tall climb yeah. to get there, we decided to go ahead and hit that on the way back down from yeah. the uh, train. It was called Iron Spring. Mm -hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Here, it tastes great. Whoa. This is the iron spring, and it tastes like it. Go on. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's bad. Okay, let's do go do some more. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, that was gross. And in the video, you see the, the water's just kind of flowing, you know? Mm -hmm. So we took our commemorative cup. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, our okay. collapsible cup. A collapsible cup. Uh, and you just, you know, you grab the yeah. sample and... Take a sip. Yum. 
It was the worst <laughs> thing I have ever drunk in Laura, my life. Laura said it tasted- Particularly it, that it, claimed to be water. It tasted like you licked a rusty nail. Oh, it was so uh, bad. I agree. So, it was called Iron Spring. Iron Spring. Uh, and they weren't kidding. Uh, and you know, we had a brochure uh, detailing the springs and <laughs> this brochure tells you uh, what uh, they have measured all these minerals to be for iron uh, iron spring oh i'm sorry they're calling it iron geyser well, whatever it's not a geyser uh, but uh, uh, it's very <laughs> so, very high in iron so dark Shocker. blue dark blue means uh very high uh, indicates highest amount of content this uh last column here with all the dark blue <laughs> that's iron uh iron geyser it was very high in fluoride Ooh. iron mm. potassium silica sodium Sulfate. And for a little, mm. uh, you know, for a little, a little zinger, just a little high sulfate there. It was pretty, so uh, it was pretty disgusting. Okay, but. Uh, but we, we kept, decided. We kept going. We're here. We're gonna do this. Let's go to so the next one. the next one we passed was called um, Twin Spring. All right. Here we go. right down the road yeah and it's uh, it's really interesting too so it's like on the side of the building but it's coming out of the rock uh -huh. that forms... it was like built into a storefront yeah you know? and, and it's just kind of spurting it's water out you flowing. know so we went for it that one was okay it tasted like mineral it tasted water, like mineral water. Right? it was it was quite refreshing yeah. to not have them all be completely disgusting yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was yeah. okay you know and honestly i'm not a fan of mineral water because it tastes minerally <laughs> but this is it tasted exactly like it mineral was, water it's it like, was oh, very good okay. i liked the second one so we're like oh, all right so. let's keep going we're still okay. alive so next up was <laughs> more about that later uh, the next one was uh stratton yeah. it was also all right yeah. okay. Yeah, it was all that right. One was good. Yeah, it was a cool little. This one was kind of more of a like a, a rhythmic uh, uh, blowing of water, and you could hear it even from across the street, it right? Was, uh, yeah. uh, just kind of, and, and so we walked over there. And it was like, oh. like our water when it got turned back on last week. <laughs> yeah, right. And upstairs didn't have yeah. enough pressure yeah. to actually like put water out. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. So we got some of this one. And that one it, was it, okay too. It was, it was a little more minerally yeah. than the last one, but it was all right. All right. It was all right. And then we had one called Cheyenne. Not bad. Cheyenne. Stop leaving me a sip. Mm -hmm. That one was all right too. Yeah. Yeah. That one was, it I, there was okay. one that I said tasted lemony. I think it was that one. I think, yeah, I think it was. Um, it was good. Yeah. And then it was lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness the brewery finally opened. It was mm -hmm. finally noon. We could go get some right. food. Went to a very good brewery. Oh my gosh. Uh, we didn't even have any beer there. No, but the but uh, the service, the food. Uh, we got a, a quinoa veggie burger yeah. that was so mm -hmm. delightful. And a goat cheese and oh, the... chili jelly appetizer yeah. i don't know yeah, it was just okay. what we needed it yeah. was delicious yeah but when we're sitting there i was like oh god oh i got this <laughs> sharp pain in my stomach and i thought okay maybe we shouldn't drink any more of the metal water <laughs> yeah. I, I think you have an iron <laughs> an iron bb in your gut <laughs> so we finished lunch we ended, we actually did end up doing one more yeah. spring trying to look one more time Okay. 
getting smaller and smaller servings. It wasn't. It wasn't great, no. so we decided to call it then. Yeah. Uh, that one was. Uh, that one was Navajo. Yeah. It was very high in alkalinity. Oh, and it tasted that way. Yeah. So I that know. explains that. Yeah. Um, but it was really neat. It was really neat. You know, we got some really saltwater neat. taffy. We walked around and did some shopping. We yeah. got some uh, frozen custard. custard. <laughs> it was. It was a cute little. Town. Very charming it town. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, friendly uh, people. Fantastic service wherever we went. And again, it's just like ten minutes, mm -hmm. ten minutes away from Colorado Springs, and and I mean, you just you just go there, everything changes, and you're yeah, in this totally like uh, you know small town, and and the, the railway was cool, so we plan on going back. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I liked yeah, it. Yeah, we plan on going back. Um, and then after that, I think we went back and just kind of like took it easy for yeah. a while. We took a nap. Yeah. Um, we yeah. made it out later, had you know, some dinner. You yeah. know, no big deal. It was a pretty low key day. After and then that. the next day. The highlight. The next day. Well, hang on. Before we get to the real highlight <laughs> oh, of this trip, okay. okay. So the next day we woke up and I, you know, at some point on day one when we, we ended up walking about eight and a half miles on that, on the Garden of the Gods day mm -hmm. between walking around Colorado Springs and, and Garden of the Gods. Mm -hmm. And I, it struck me that um, we haven't been, um, we, we haven't been as active as we no. would prefer to be. No running. Um, no running. I mean, it's slushy and muddy outside. Yeah. With Millie gone, we don't go on walks every day like yeah. we used to. Yeah. And that, um, we need to. We need to. Uh, so on uh, our last day there, which, you know, we're checking out the hotel this day. We're going to go home. But I proposed um, a walk around downtown because... Um, Throughout our trip, I noticed it's a very arty downtown. Mm -hmm. A lot of the sides of buildings are painted, mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to go get some pictures of some of those murals. Some of those murals. Yeah, so really neat. Uh, we did that. Well, first of all, we found this bakery that was oh, man, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, Provision, I think, was the name of it. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Yeah. So we ate a lot mm -hmm. of bread and pastries. Yeah, we did. Um, bought a loaf of bread to take home with us, uh, and then we went on about a two-mile walk around mm -hmm. downtown and. Just took some pictures just yeah. to move our legs because we knew yeah. we would be sitting for I mean, real tur we were real tourists. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah, that was fun. Taking pictures of buildings. Uh -huh. yeah. So, that was neat. And then the highlight, <laughs> we went to a Costco. <laughs> one right now uh we still we're maintaining our membership because they will ship stuff to us dry some, goods some and stuff, stuff like yeah, that yeah. um but uh we went to costco we bought beer fizzy water <laughs> produce and fruits and vegetables <laughs> and cheese and it was wonderful yeah, it was amazing it was amazing and if you don't know what costco is it's a it's a wholesale uh warehouse just full of everything from uh, dishwashers to toothpaste. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I mean, you, the the baskets you push around are like uh, you know five feet wide, yeah. and uh, they're great for me so because it's they the handle size so of your uh, Fiat. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's the size of my Fiat five hundred. Uh, and we haven't been in a Costco, a warehouse like that, I mean, since before COVID. In COVID, so. we real we learned uh, that they order. ship stuff yeah. so we just started shipping so, and then we moved here and there's not a Costco. There's nothing here. <laughs> the closest one is in Albuquerque yeah. which is only a half an hour closer yeah, than it's Colorado like Springs. The grocery store here has produce that's like a week old you know and, what, and by the time the you same, get to it. It's the same produce <laughs> week after week. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's one of those uh, you know learning things about moving here you know it's it's okay it's just you know Good, good produce is uh, few and far between, and gotta, yeah. uh, so I mean, we're at Costco. We loaded up. We, we got some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen those in a, like a year. <laughs> so anyway, it was it wasn't necessarily the highlight of the trip, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, but we did a great job, you know. We loaded up with some stuff, and that was it. And we got we got on the road, and yeah. uh, and we head back. And that was our little trip. Yep. That was our trip. We get a new pin in our map. Yep. A place we've never been. And uh, some really, uh, really neat things that we know we're going to uh, get back to. Yeah. And, uh, you know. I want to go to the top of Pike's Peak. Yeah.
Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we were walking around and, you know, we walked all the way up to the train station. It, it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Uh, uh, and even at... 10, elevation about, wise. Yeah, elevation wise, you know. <laughs> because of where we live now. <laughs> yeah. when, when we got to the halfway point, we're at 10,000 feet. I'm like, eh. Yeah, there's some people on the on the train kind of, you know, huffing and puffing and they're just sitting there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, let's see what 14,000 feet's like. But, you yeah. know, uh, of course, obviously, when we go back, uh, we'll, we'll take you along with us. Yeah. And that was our exciting weekend. That's the uh, uh, the thing that we didn't want to spoil for you. We, we got on a, on a really awesome train ride right. and we drank some mineral water. Fresh <laughs> out of the ground. <laughs> and for next time, we still have... Three or four of the springs that we took. Oh, yeah, that's so. right. And some other things to do there. Yeah. So, again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know if you know where Beats, Bears. Bears, Beats. beats. That That'll start like that. Yeah, but the, the beer started. I mean, the drink started with Beats. It started with Beers instead of Bears. You know what? I'm going to look that up because I think I'm probably wrong. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, well, obviously always an adventure with you <laughs> we'll see you hopefully next week we're doing our best to upload every week uh, let's see what's new we realize we need to start exercising so i did uh on the day we got home in addition to that walk i started a custom workout program through apple uh fitness plus so yeah. we are let's see if there's a friday we skip Saturday. This is day four of workouts. So, so we're doing everything from kickboxing to dancing, dancing to yoga, yoga and, and Pilates, Pilates and core workouts. It's just making me more hungry. But we have lots of <laughs> lots of produce right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thanks. <laughs>